Amjambo. Hello. Hello. Jubilee. We have been on this podium before. And I have informed you once, not twice, not three times, that there has been an attempt to hijack the Jubilee Party, to demolish the Jubilee Party, to destroy the Jubilee Party. And this, these attempts started way back in June of last year. When the first attempt was officially made, there was even an attempt to open a Jubilee Asili. Those efforts have not ceased. When we were doing our campaigns as an Asimio outfit, when we were campaigning for a presidential candidate, Raira Amoro Odinga, there were still elements within us, within us who tried all they could to deter us. We managed to finish the campaigns. We were able to deliver a win to Baba. Baba won the elections of 2022 with 8.1 million votes. And within it, within those votes, was a, a commendable effort from Jubilee Party. The man seated in State House, legitimately, got 5.9 million votes. From the Mount Kenya region, where Jubilee is dominant, we were able to deliver 2.6 million votes. This must sound like song now in your ears because I've been saying it every time. And we'll continue repeating it. Because Waizi, our attack you query Kisemo. They managed to steal the win of our members of parliament at the Jubilee and other parties. So within Mount Kenya region, you may not come across genuine Jubilee members of parliament. People who have faith in the cause that we are committed to. After the elections, William Ruto is on record as having said that he must take over Jubilee. Those attempts are yeah, the attempts that you saw culminating in the meetings that you saw of people at Sarova Hotel in Nakuru. Of people who co called themselves together and uh, uh, formed a so-called NEC. And that meeting happened immediately the same team visited State House and met William Ruto there. So they, it's not that we don't know what they have been up to. We know what they have been up to. After the Nakuru, they had been given instructions to finish the meetings, make sure that their Kaguru, Kaguru behavior is done. And there, from there, they were to go to Naivasha, present their, their resolutions to, the, to William Ruto in Naivasha, where he was meeting the governors, and prepare themselves to be paraded in Nakuru during the prayer race. That was a script, script prepared and executed from State House. The meeting in Salova had even elements of people from uh, the Registrar of Political Parties. Eventually, the first set of things that they did in uh, Salova, they, they realized that they were so badly done, even in the presence of uh, very uh, useful lawyers there before. And they had to redo the whole exercise again. And that is how you saw the name of Kutuni now featuring. It is not uh, Kanini Kega and his uh, uh, other group. Because we were trying to tidy up the mess that they, had, they were already in. Eventually, they, pre they presented some documents to the Registrar of Political Parties. We wrote the Registrar of Political Parties even before their meetings. And we informed the Registrar of known attempts to do what uh, these people are doing. After the document was presented to the Registrar of Political Parties, she then communicated to us and uh, said that she has recognized uh, the resolutions and the convening of NEC at Sarova. And we have said this before and we want to repeat again. Our constitution is very clear, the Jubilee Constitution. 
only the SG and the party leader can call the National Executive Committee. You do not need, you do not need to have gone to a CBC class to understand the meaning of that provision in the Constitution. But it's amazing that the registrar even went ahead and said that the, 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 the NEC was properly convened. But if you read the letter from the, the registrar of political parties, she seemed to want to cover herself by saying that while she has said all that she has done, any move by any, any of the said individuals required an inter, uh, internal dispute resolution mechanism. Contrary to that, the individuals, of course, um, took it upon themselves and used the letter to think that they have been given the mandate of uh, moving into offices. What is amazing is that the police officers had the audacity of accompanying individuals to an office and they were fully armed for the cruisers of, of, of uh, police officers. And because we, are, we belong to a, an, a, a side of political divide in this country that believes in the peace and the need to ensure that we do not shed any drop of blood as we pursue what we are looking for. The many members of Jubilee who are within the compound, I told them, don't resist. Do not resist. If they tell you to move, just move. Why? Because what we are fighting for, the fight for electoral justice, the fight for economic justice for our people is not listed in a building. It is a spirit. It is in us. And if you want to do anything with that, you have to destroy this body. Forget about the, 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 the rocks and the rest. And I know we have enough members of Jubilee Party who believe in that cause. Pesa ya kununua na itakuwako. Wale wako na bay, waende sokoni iko pare state house. <laughs> and you can always go to state house with a placard saying, I am worth this amount of money. They will give you the money. Kifika pare kwa mnagoni, adika yako, bay yako kwa karatasi kama hii, hapa winue juu, seme bay yagu ni hii. Wata kupatia. Because what they are doing is that they took away the subsidies, ya chule, ya mavuta, Na kila kitu, hiyo diyo pesa sasa inatumiwa kuanunua wale ambao have no character. But we again decided to follow the law. Because as I said, as in Azimio, under the leadership of Laira, Amoro, Odinga, we understand the law. And of course all the others. We have water wako hapa. Mwesimu wa Karonzo Musioka is with us here. And all the others. Eugene Wamarua is with us here. And the, the, what Baba suffered fighting for was institutions. So we have faith in the institution of uh, the register of political party, a product of the struggle that was done by Baba. We have our judiciary in the manner that it is now constituted, a product of the struggle that was led by Baba, among many others who are not here. It is amazing how some people are entrusted with those offices and quickly degenerate to uh, behaviors that were not known to us before. Really, so as, as others have said, really chasing wild goose now, you can actually see all that being happened. So we went to court because, and we did all that needed to be done. All those individuals you saw here yesterday are individuals that are facing disciplinary action, but the court want to help them out of the disciplinary action by giving them, not the court, the state house wants to varuk all those things and giving them a kind of a through pass. We want to thank those within the judiciary who still believe that there is a country and institutions must be seen to be fair and free. Free and fair. So we presented our case after having exhausted our channels of communication, correspondences, because you must exhaust with the, with the register of political parties. After we had exhausted and we saw that office is not responsive, we then moved.
to the uh, P P D T. That is the political parties district right here. And this morning, we were issued with an order. The political parties tribunal issued an order to us, myself, Mweshuma Murade, and uh, two others. And the order is very clear. This matter coming up before uh, Honorable Des Desmas Nungo, chairperson, PPDT on 16th of February 2023, went through and said, it is hereby ordered, among the many other things that are there, where you need to concentrate on is number five. That pending inter-parties hearing and determination of the application, interim conservatory orders are hereby issued, staying the respondent's decision. The respondent is office of the registrar of political parties. Because that's the, the office we took uh, to court, because they are the ones who are giving uh, uh, mis misinformed positions. Staying the respondent's decision, communicated by the letter dated 13th February 2023, to the effect that Jubilee Party Neck, I want you to note here, to the effect that Jubilee Party Neck meeting held on 10th February 2023 was properly convened per the party constitution and further staying any consequential action by the respondent towards effecting, adopting, or ratifying the resolutions of the subject meeting. So I was wondering, what were the police officers doing here? <laughs> what were they doing here? Dead capture. Dead capture. Dead capture. Dead capture. Dead capture. And it is given under my heart and seal uh, on the 16th of February 2023. So we are here because we have this order. We are here because we have this order. And I want to thank our party leader, Raira Amoro Odinga. We in Jubilee, watch at the Jubilee-led uh, the wing led by William Ruto, the rebellious, the function led by Io Unaita uh, Bonoko. Io, the jubilee that we belonged to. Nasema hivi kwa Kenya wote about ni wana jubilee. The jubilee that we belong to. Na hiko kwa roho zetu. Io jubilee hiko dani ya azimio. Hello? Hiko dani ya azimio. Na hiyo jubilee believes in the cause that we have started through the people's baraza. Now the resolutions of the people's baraza, we are part and parcel of those resolutions. So I want to thank my principals, my seniors in the political field, people who have struggled even before me, any of you were born, many of you were born. They have, they have decided that it is important to come and be with us, members of Jubilee, as we demonstrate how the law is supposed to be followed. Of course, they also wanted to know where are these uh, new offices, uh, where are new offices are, and they are here. And I want to ask uh, uh, Baba uh, to come and uh, guide us through. We'll receive him.